What is going on my dudes? It's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to another gun mod update. And today we're going to be checking out some brand new features recently added to the gun mod. And I got something special at the end of the video. I'm going to show you guys how to create a shooting range. Ooh, that was cool. Now before we start, if you guys are excited for this video, I'd appreciate if you go ahead and drop a like down below. And if you want to keep up to date with all my gun mod updates, go ahead, subscribe and turn on that bell notification. Alright, let's do this. First things first, let's head over to the gun shop. That's where all the guns are at. Actually, we just need to go to the back. Let's just skip all that. Ah, here we are at the gun range. Woo! It's good to be back here, guys. And as I mentioned in the intro of this video, I am actually going to be showing you guys how to create a gun range of your own because I remember in the last video that I did with this a lot of you guys were asking you know how do you actually create one of these where you can press a button and reset it well I'm gonna show you guys at the end of this video but let's get into this update shall we so what is new in the gun mod the number one question that is on your mind right now where there's a bunch of things we're gonna take a look at right now so um, let's open up this chest here and as you can see we got a bunch of uh, the weapons here without any sort of ammo in here It looks like we need to reload them and this is where the new feature comes in So let's go ahead. Let's grab out the pistol here and let's just grab out some basic ammo So now when you actually hold weapons, you can actually see your arms holding the weapon now uh, Right now the pistol is kind of covering well where the p pistol is positioned it's kind of covering my arm, but if I zoom in, as you can see, my arm is actually holding the pistol now. So it does feel a lot more immersive now when you actually use um, the weapons. Now, um, we do need to reload this, and this goes into the next new feature, in, and that is that there is now reloading animations in the mod. So if I go ahead and hit R now, you can see that my arm is uh, putting ammo into the weapon. Uh, but as you can see, we now have a weapon that has been reloaded. We can go ahead and see if we can get this first shot. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Aced it! That was actually pr that was probably my quickest time so far with the uh, with the pistol. I think I've got I think I've done it quicker with another one with the with a different weapon. Um, but that's the pistol. Let's go ahead. Let's grab out the assault rifle and see how this differs because this is actually a. Um, this is actually a two-handed weapon, so obviously it's going to be having both arms holding it. So let's go ahead, let's scroll over to it. Woo! Wee! Look at that. Zoom in here. Looks really awesome. It's still kind of the same in third person. Nothing has uh, nothing has changed with that. Uh, we can zoom in here. Now there is a little bit of a difference with the assault rifle, and you will hear it real soon. Let's go ahead. Let's reload this now. Look at that animation! Isn't that beautiful? That is actually beautiful. Um, and there we go. Weapon is now reloaded. Let's go ahead, redo that. How how quick are we going to be able to do it? Oh, 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 oh! Hey, there we go. And you might have heard there that the the fire sound for the assault rifle has now changed. I've been looking at ways to improve the sounds um, for my gun mods for a while because I feel like um, a lot of the sounds didn't really fit in or they could have been improved uh, but as you can hear now this is the new sound for the assault rifle pretty pretty cool alright let's move on to the next weapon which is the shotgun this looks pretty cool when you hold it let's go ahead pop that there Woo! look at that that's cool. Um, there is a little bit of a glitch. I've got to fix up some of the properties for the gun because, as you can see, you can kind of see that my shoulder. <laughs> if you look right at the bottom there, you can see like the my shoulder of my arm there. It doesn't really look that good, so I'm going to have to fix the shotgun up. But how cool does it actually look now when you're running around in Minecraft holding one of these weapons? It actually you know, makes it actually feel like you're holding it with two hands rather than previously. It looked like you were only holding it with one. Let's go ahead. Let's reload this. See if we can get an ace it. See if we can ace it. Oh, oh, we need to reload. We need to reload. Uh, do we, oh, we don't have the ammo. You might have noticed as well um, when you are reloading that your arm is actually holding. Look at it. It's holding the bullets that go. It's holding the ammo that goes into the weapon, uh, which is a really cool effect of the reload animation. 
Oh, my aim. Oh! Ah! Oh, wait, our ammo. Makes sense. And I'm missing them all. Oh, come on! Hey, there we go. Easy done. So that is the shotgun. Let's go on to the next one. Next up, we have the rifle. Woo! That looks good. And again, this weapon has a brand new sound. And it, ooh, I'm telling you right now, it sounds amazing. So let's go ahead. Let's just give this a little bit of a zoom in test here so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like now when you zoom in. Let's go ahead and reload it. Easy. And now let's go ahead. Let's fire this. Let's actually set up some of the bottles here. Here we go. Woo! That sounds powerful. Listen to that, guys. Woo wee! Farm a cray out here. You know, I only use these weapons to protect my farm, alright? That's all I'm using them for, guys. You know, any sort of, you know, animal tries to attack my crops on the farm, this is what I do. Ethical use. Alrighty, so that is the rifle sounding absolutely amazing now. I love that new sound. Very, very satisfying. Uh, we have the bazooka. Woo -wee. Bazooka. Let's go ahead and grab that out. Um, this one needs... I kind of need to fix this one up. Let's go ahead and reload it. Aha! Reloaded. So um, this animation probably does need some improvements just because it's kind of completely different um, to how all the other guns or weapons work. Uh, the minigun. Actually, I don't think I've even tested this one. Let's go ahead. Let's see how this is going to work. We, may, we need to go ahead and grab out some of the basic ammo real quickly. Oh, we're out of the basic ammo. Uh, we'll go ahead and yoink some real quickly. Alright, let's go ahead, let's reload the minigun. Ah, easy! <laughs> I mean, not the real way, but I mean, it still works and it still looks good. So, there we go, we have the minigun. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at the last weapon because I want to get onto the next stuff. There is still more to show off, guys. If you think this is it, you're definitely, definitely wrong. Um, grenade launcher. Um, you can't really, the arm is there, but you can't really see it that well. Let's go ahead and reload it. There we go. Grenade launcher has now been reloaded. Let's give it a quick test fire over here. Kaboom! There we go. So that is all the, um, you know, weapons when I'm holding them. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what they look like. Definitely love this. Definitely, definitely love this rifle. Whee! Woo! Woo! It's like my new favorite weapon in the mod, not gonna lie. All right, let's go ahead, let's pop that back in there. All right, so the next thing that has changed in my gun mod is now you can actually put weapons on your back. I, I'm gonna put that in quotes because um, basically they just render on your back now when they're put into your offhand. So let's go ahead, let's grab out the pistol and let's grab out the assault rifle. So. If I go ahead and I put the assault rifle in my offhand, it won't actually render in my offhand because the assault rifle technically needs two hands in order to use it. However, one of our hand is already on, um, you know, the handgun here. So, you know, why even render the weapon? Uh, but if we go into third person, as you can see, the assault rifle is actually rendering on my back instead. How cool is that? So it provides a really immersive feel and like especially if you start putting attachments on it such as a scope or silencer and coloring the weapon, it can look really awesome on your back and we are going to do that as well. So we can zoom in here. Um, if we go ahead and press F here, we can swap it around and something cool is um, smaller weapons such as the handgun will actually render by your waist instead so um, we can see that it is actually on the side of my play there we press F again the assault rifle will go um, will switch around with my pistol and go onto my back there so really cool um, immersion that happens now when you use the gun mod but as I said I wanted to create a custom weapon here and give it some colors because it looks really awesome once you actually kit a weapon out and put it onto your back Woo-wee! This is the official Cray Mr. Crayfish gun. Have a look at that thing. 
but imagine this now on your back instead. So a really cool thing is, even if you put it in your off hand and you have nothing in your main hand, it will still render on your back. So you can just walk around like a boss with a weapon on your back. So any moment that you need to actually pull this thing out, you can be like, poof, press F, bring that out. Look at that thing. That is an absolute beast of a weapon right there. So we can zoom in here, see what's all good. Whoa, that was a... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that is a weird combo, not gonna lie. Uh, let's go ahead and let's pop this onto our waist and have a look what it looks like. Oh jeez, this thing's like dragging on the ground. <laughs> it actually is dragging on the ground. That's that's really weird. But I guess that's kind of the side effect of uh, putting a silencer on that thing. It makes the it makes the weapon extremely long. Let's go ahead. Let's pop these weapons in the chest. I'm gonna save them for later. Maybe I'll use them at, in a uh, in a future video. But that pretty much wraps up what is new in this update. It may not seem like a lot, but it's a really cool immersion update that is just going to, you know, increase the experience, improve the experience, sorry, when you use my gun mod. But it's that point in this video now where I'm going to teach you guys how to create a shooting range. Now, a lot of you guys thought it was actually a mod. Well, it's not. It is simply command blocks plus a resource pack. So, I actually, I'm actually going to be putting the resource pack in the description below, so you'll want to go ahead, download that, and apply it to your game. And once you've done that, what you want to do is grab out the brown stained glass pane. That is actually the model that I override. It may not look like it right now, but when we do place this down, it is going to show um, a bottle instead. So, I'm going to go ahead, pop it on top of this... Um, this bit of uh, this fence here sorry this fence post and as you can see we have the bottle well it's like the apple juice bottle or something like that it's like apple cider I don't know what it is it could be anything but we've placed it down now and uh, the main thing that we want to do is we want to make it so it sets the bottle here when we press a button so what we're gonna do is look at the uh, look at the bottle here that you've just placed down and you want to type in set block and then press tab three times so it gets the coordinates of the block and then we're going to type in stained glass pane and then 12 so that is the meta uh, data for the brown glass pane we're going to go ahead copy that command so press control A then press control C copy that and then we're going to get some command blocks. So you'll need a command block and you also need some chain command blocks. Um, you can get that straight away just by using the uh, the normal command block here. We're going to go ahead and uh, let's add this somewhere in my mansion here so we can actually play around with it if you really want to. So let's go ahead, let's pop that there. We're going to pop that command into here. Let's go ahead, let's create one more. So we might put one on the top of the building here. Ooh, okay, that doesn't really work. Let's pop it there instead. Let's do that again. So set block. Make sure you're looking directly at it. And then we'll do stained glass pane and then number 12. Copy that. Let's go back over here. This time I'm going to place the, the chain one right there. Paste that in and then make this. Uh, actually, that's that's correct. I think it's yeah, always active and this one needs redstone. Make sure it says need redstone here. We'll go ahead and grab out a button. Oops. Pop that uh, on there above it so it powers it. You can place it anywhere that you want. And if we go ahead and we press it now, it will set those. So if we go ahead and grab out a... Let's grab out the rifle here. We go ahead and break that one. And then we go ahead and break the other one as well. Oh, if we can hit it. You've got to be accurate. And now if you go ahead and press the button, it will reset the bottles over the other side. So as you can see, it is now placed back there and the one on the post is there as well. So it's very simple, but I thought I would teach you guys how to create it in this video today. I will also put the commands in the description below so you guys can copy and paste them into your game. But that 
is going to end off this video today, my dudes. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, go ahead, leave a like down below and also subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all my mod updates and more. And I will catch you guys soon. Oh yeah, this, the download link is in the description below if you want to download this new update. <laughs> Forgot to mention that. But I'll catch you guys later. Bye.